The debate has started amongst world leaders in reference to Donald Trump's controversial statement regarding his views that the United States should adopt policy that would ban Muslims from entering into the United States. In Great Britain, a petition was signed by over 500,000 British subjects calling for banning Donald Trump from entering Great Britain. In years past, people who harbored hatred that might result in the instigation of violent acts had been prevented from entering Great Britain. The petition, which was signed, stated, began, quote, and the United Kingdom is to continue applying the unacceptable behavior criteria to those who wish to enter its borders. It must be fairly applied to the rich as well as poor and the weak as well as the powerful. End quote. News Corp. Austria and the Network. 2016. Donald Trump should not be banned from Great Britain. The premise of banning certain groups from entering sovereign soil for the purpose of ensuring national security is not a new or original concept. President Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which sent 110,000 Japanese Americans to relocation camps after the bombing of Pearl Harbor because there was a fear that certain factions may have played some part in the sneak attack. In addition, after the suicide attacks in July 2005 on London's transport system, which resulted in the death of 52 people and the injury of several hundred, Great Britain elevated its anti-terrorism policy to ensure national security. The investigation of this attack indicated that radical Muslim extremists were to blame. This event Elevated national security policy has been compared to that which was used in the early 1970s with Northern Ireland. The use of executive power to prevent certain people's movement in or out of Great Britain has been done in the past due to violence in Northern Ireland. Citizens of the United Kingdom, which includes England, Wales, and Scotland, were prohibited from entering Northern Ireland. Ireland are coming back to the UK in order to prevent the spread of violent acts. It is clear to me that the barring of Donald Trump from entering Great Britain is an overreaction by a number of citizens who have forgotten history and have not opened their eyes to the terrorist threat that exists in our country. Outspoken Muslim extremists have infiltrated the sovereign shores of Great Britain and have no respect or value for English law. Muslims continue to openly call for jihad despite a clear violation of English law. Perhaps Great Britain should be so bold to control immigration into our country in order to provide for the safety and security of our citizens. Donald Trump has the guts to speak what is on his mind even in the face of public scrutiny. How is Great Britain's past views regarding Northern Ireland any different than Trump's proposal now? Bold leaders such as FDR step forward and act in the name of security. Our leaders should be so bold. It is imperative that the free world stands together in the face of one of the biggest threats to world peace. The education of the British people regarding the very real problem of extremists in our country which threaten our very society should be the focus of the British government, not the banning of a political figure for speaking his mind regarding the problem. This knee-jerk reaction to a statement by a political candidate is missing the point. The banning of a particular group of people is probably not the answer either, but it is clear that there needs to be a clear plan that should be adopted by the free world to combat the situation at hand. Furthermore, the barring of Donald Trump from Great Britain should he become President of the United States would be a foolish move with respect to alienating what Great Britain's strong allies. For those people who would offer arguments to the contrary, we Brits need to be cognizant that there's a very real threat in the U.S. and they need to formulate a plan that fits their best interests. 
it would be foolish to think that the U.S. would ban the Prime Minister from going to Washington for initiating a plan that he believed would save British lives. In conclusion, I feel that banning Donald Trump from entering Great Britain would be a mistake because while his brash plan may not be the answer, it does provide the stimulus for poignant discussions regarding the imminent terrorist threat that needs to be addressed and a need for a unified plan by the free world.